Here's a look at the day's top stories as of 4 p.m. on Wednesday. The coronavirus continues to have a deadly toll on South Dakota. 14 more South Dakotans have died due to COVID-19, according to the latest reporting from the health department. That brings the total number of people who have died in the state to 460. The health department also confirmed 937 new cases, bringing the total to nearly 49,800. The number of active cases has also nearly reached 14,000. You can take a closer look at today's numbers on the coronavirus page on kelloland.com. Voters in South Dakota said yes on three ballot questions they had to answer during yesterday's election. So far, 53% of voters said yes to Amendment A, which would legalize the recreational use of marijuana. 69% of voters said yes to Initiated Measure 26, which would legalize medical marijuana. And more than 58% of voters said yes to Amendment B, which would allow sports wagering in Deadwood. We'll have reaction to these ballot measures coming up tonight on Kevo Land News. Sioux Falls police gave an update on a shooting outside a Halloween party that killed a Lincoln High School senior. Police say a juvenile has been arrested, but because of the suspect's age, police are not releasing the name, exact age of the juvenile, or the charges. The shooting happened outside the Red Sea Pub on East 8th Street Saturday night. The 18-year-old was shot as he was leaving the party and he later died at the hospital. The Summit League announced their weekly women's and men's doubleheaders that will be played on Fridays and Saturdays or Saturdays and Sundays beginning in January and concluding in late February. Each team will play 16 games over the course of nine weeks starting January 2nd with the Summit League tournament being held March 6th through 9th at the Denny Sanford Premier Center. South Dakota State will open the season with a bye in week one followed by a meeting with Western Illinois. Find more details in this Kelloland.com original online right now. Scroll down in the story to see the latest update from the Kelloland Live Doppler HD Storm Center. That's first up for on this Wednesday afternoon. I'm Whitney Fowkes. For the latest updates, download the Kelloland News app.